Good morning explorers, so first explore today we are heading in a very old house, we don't know too much about it yet apart from the guy here last passed away, a very elderly man who was a dentist who practiced his own dentistry in his own house so it looks creepy I don't know if we're going to get in yet but let's check it out Hello explorers, so today's video we're exploring a normal looking mansion or is it normal? behind closed doors at this building built back in the 1800s in Belgium. Lived a family that goes back nearly three generations of interdentistry. His grandfather was a dentist, his father was a dentist, and he followed on suit. Having one daughter and a beautiful wife, when he lost his wife, he was still performing dentistry, but people say he wasn't the same anymore. He was quite spiteful, and some say even removed the wrong teeth. There was even an investigation to him back in the 1980s where a local woman went missing, but was last seen inside the house of the dentist. I'm not gonna lie, walking around this place had a very sinister feeling, like something didn't want me there. But what a crazy and beautiful house that stood time. Love you loads, guys. Enjoy the video. Take care. Hello, explorers. So, step foot inside the dentist's house. This house already feels absolutely terrifying. I don't know why. I just got a weird feeling about it. The guy I lived here was practicing dentistry on people. And apparently, I heard sometimes he'd, obviously, people would be putting asleep to have things done and he'd be working on the wrong teeth. <laughs> I'm scared stiff of the dentist. I really am scared. I'm gonna spin the camera around really slowly. Just have a look. Imagine coming through this stair, uh, this doorway to your grand hallway. Oh, what a beautiful paintings. Pictures and portraits, sorry. Never seen this before around the doors either. This is so cool. Wow. Hey, you, you've been in here? This is so cool, man. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we're just told this place has been abandoned for 15 years. I feel like it's longer. And the beautiful details above the door. And now unfortunately some explorers, so-called explorers have got in and damaged this place. It's so gorgeous, look at it. I'm loving these pillars as well. Look at the flooring and the rocks. The way the table is just completely set up still. 25th of October 1992. That's what makes me say 18 years. I mean, there's a few things I've seen around, like red ball cans, which we do know other explorers, as, uh, explorers have been in. I can't believe I'm actually standing in a dentist house. Wow. Look at the detail on this furniture. Probably all handcrafted, like the stags. Chasing the dog or the dog chasing the stag. <laughs> Get it right, Dave. You see the front of this place here, that's completely overgrown. You're just about to see the gates there. Still got everything in there, it's gonna have to. Look at this, and this is standing outside the front of this place. This is 
is 1884 to 1909. So it just shows you the date in this building. It's easy, 18, probably 1850s. Again, uh, most people in Belgium were very religious as well back in the days. Well, a lot of them still are. I think it's nice to follow some kind of religion. Uh, Franz Hugus. Another beautiful place. Sitting abandoned. Absolutely gorgeous. I wonder what that wine was. It's amazing. At the Universe site, 1903. Yeah, because I heard this guy was about 80, um, I think around about 88, 89 when he passed away. It's probably like, maybe his grandparents or maybe him, which would make sense. Just another little pan around. It's absolutely incredible. I'm kind of coke. 1993. So it was about 17 years, 18 years. I love all this old furniture. The quality, the feel. You can't buy nothing like this again. Look how wide these doors are. So this is the room you would have heard all the. How creepy is this? Like. I know you're like, well, it's just a dentist chair, but you imagine this is in someone's home. Tries, if you was, you're basically working from home, but taking people's teeth out. You know, I'm not being funny, but all sorts of stuff could have happened in here while people are under, while I sleep. Look at some of these tools as well. <laughs> My little sound effects. There's a syringe there as well, still. And the teeth. I'm literally petrified of dentists, if I really am. So there's all the teeth charm. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. really cool, look at the little key ring. He must have loved teeth. <laughs> Different moulds. There's a, um, I need to get a new light, I can't stand this light. Look at this. Polish. People are spat and gargled in that. And that's the maker's name on there, the Corno. So you're yeah, standing in the back of the dentist room. Yeah, all the little drill bits. T filings. I'm petrified of the dentist as well. I really don't like it. Look at all the moulds. You think that's someone's mouth? They've got stains in them already. Like they've been used and then reused, put back in. They're different shades of teeth. There's a lot of mail here, so I want to keep that sort of secret on there. I want this place getting out. Different books as well. Look. Basic Psychopedia. So you imagine the silent noise in there now, but a few years back it'd have been zzzz, the old drills going, someone screaming in there. <laughs> Look at all these uh, different moulds and dentist plates. So I believe these, the 
mould was put on these and this was put into the mouth. The screams and the, man, I don't want to see the dentist, which would have been me. There's a lot of things with addresses, so I have to keep. The old cool fireplace. So this would have been like a huge stately home or a mansion at some point. And there looks like an original. No, nope. it's not. But yes, this would have been a huge stately home at one point. This guy's obviously brought it and turned it into his dentist. Here's the guy. All different stuff there. <laughs> Maybe this was the hammer he put him asleep with, you never know. You don't know what went on in these old places. You scream more, you get another bop on the head. Who knows? Could be patients under the floor. <laughs> now, I don't know how true it is, but we had a family come here and wanted nothing to do with it. So, they literally, just started putting out what they wanted and then just left the rest abandoned. Loving the old type. It's got like a pinky sort of colour to them. Just every room. So many beautiful features like the clock and I'm loving this like kitchen kitchen <laughs> dining room sort of area. Still loads of things left. Sure, what that means. If you know what that translate that. As I said, all the stained glass windows in the cupboards. Can you imagine though, coming out of there, removing teeth. Someone probably still asleep with anaesthetic on the bed. Coming in over your lunch, your dinner. It's still warm in this place. Again, I see these the other day in the doctor's house. If you haven't seen that video either, there's an old doctor's house that I did as well, so check that out, guys. What is this? Oh, alcohol, 90% proof. Look at the fur in there, though. So it looks like someone has been in sort of help yourself a little bit. I love the old photo albums. Look at the spider web effect and the kind of um, in between. You think a lot of these people are long gone. If any of them are them. So many memories. Days out at the park, maybe a family sitting on a beach, uh, on a bridge. <laughs> a little outside of maybe like a pub. I'm loving it. I could sit and look at these all day photographs. All that. Even like the old army photos. So, is that on me or RAF? It's probably his son and his dad in the military. So beautiful stuff. So normally I'd go straight upstairs, but I'm going to check down in the basement. No, it's not a basement. It's a little old cubby hole. The old scales and weights and stuff. Scales there. That's it just makes you wonder like Sweeney Todd and I think it's I don't know, Miss Summit used to make the pies out of humans. <laughs> Especially when you see like loads of belts and stuff. Right, this is a shame. It's like a the whole 
whole cellar is like a tunnel under the house, but there, there's about a foot and a bit of water with a creepy sort of clown puppet. So as I embark up the stairway of creepiness, <laughs> creepiness, it is quite a creepy house, I think. I think anyone that practices medicine, dentistry and all that in their homes, it's a little bit creepy. And I suppose back in the day, So coming up the staircase, I'm just going to turn around and have one look down. Look how beautiful that is for that portrait. Oh, how cool is this? Everything still literally sits here from the day this person was living here. How cool is that? And all these clothes still hanging up the tires. Or are they patients' tires? You never know. This is murder weapons. I love these, you know, the old calendar for the boards. It's a nice little box. You'd think maybe after a day of taking teeth out, calming people, injecting people, and then come up on your exercise bike and do a little half marathon. <laughs> Away all the wood though, look at that. How beautiful it is. It's like secret doors. That's what it feels like this place. So you'd shut that up. Well, not secret doors, but all blends in. But what I did notice down here well, yeah, what I noticed through here, not apart from more clothing. It's through here. It's the way we came. manicure there. All still in its leather box case. Leather case. Oh, okay. Leathery type. Look at the bin full of all the old meds. It's quite a funny little colour bottle to have in the bathroom. I wonder if he had good teeth. Being the dentist. Fresh linen, well, was fresh. Definitely, no one's bathed in there for a long time. Right, okay, so there's the gate. Wow, look at the scumbags. Storm. What's that about? What's wrong with people? This is a kind of cool room though. It's like a proper little man cave. Sorry ladies, but it looks like a man cave. And look, the spook slot. And what is this? Another like, spooky game. Oh, and the old classic mastermind down the bottom there. I love the pillow. Look at the posters on the wall. Australia. This is my other dust mask, by the way. I'm rattling around, so just before anyone says, What am I doing? Banging around. I'm going to get it in my pocket. Just to show you guys, it is in my pocket. Yeah, look at all this. 
film slides. What are these? If we can work that out. It's like a guy, I don't know, standing on like a pole. That's what it kind of looks like. Let's just use my torch for a, a kind of light thing. Looks like he's fixing the lamppost actually. It's probably like maybe one of their fathers or something. That's a flagpole. I'm gonna do four of these. I won't stay all day with these. There's a guy. He's all dressed up, smart, two men in their suit. If you can see that. It's like a canal or something. I don't know if I've done four now, but we'll do one more. It's like a view from a cliff top. See, so I think these are all like memories that are just going to deteriorate. I mean, who's going to end up keeping these? If there's no family now that want anything, you know, from the crazy family house. All the little colognes and perfumes and. I really like this little room. It is like a little getaway man cave room. What are these? Does anyone know what that is? Sunlight? I love the old boxes. Love old packaging. <laughs> the old road sign. Go for one CD, see what's happening. Is it Lannis? I got five on it. I got five on it. <laughs> well, that's a very old, like, um, Coke bottle then. Or medication, probably vitamins and stuff that like. More kids' toys. Old Snoopy in there. Still a cool room. Shame about the vandalism on the mirror. Just don't see the point of vandalising. You know, if you're going to look through stuff as well, just don't pull everything out. What is that? 79 or some like, I don't know. If anyone recognises what that would be used for? Uh -huh. Get a strange one. There we go. Takes all types. They're even brand new trainers. Never been worn. A watch face. And some more photos here. Probably the old guy at the backs. Obviously, it's last few years blessing. Please don't go. I oh, know. It makes you wonder if there's any, nah, any old coins left. Any old piggy bank. Is that kids' storybooks? Is that Aladdin? We used to collect these when I was a kid. Get a room like this. It's, look, the window's just wide open. Just letting nature pour in. Just love old memories, old photos. Look at the beast down there. Look at the little kiddie's chair. It's obviously like the little kid's room or. Yeah, there's quite a lot of toys in here. Probably a lot of toys I remember when I was a kid. That Pluto. The Beast, <laughs> 101 Dalmatians. It's had a bit of damage that figurine, probably repaired over the years. Paintings. Maybe when he was younger, the guy. 
Everyone loves an old teddy bear. So just looking back into the child's room, I've literally just changed my memory card, so. And you've got like this art style hallway. I see so many amazing things when exploring. Anyone know what this reads? Don't read it. Not really. So maybe this was keeping work away from Good old VHS's, it's how I grew up. Believe it or not, I went to my grandmother's and watched the Beta Max, if anyone knows what that is. More toys. Shame all the toys couldn't be given to like an old hospice or something for other kids to play with them. There's just so many here that I just left. I remember all these when I was younger. Oh, oh Fred Finstone. He's probably got a date and I'd imagine it'd be round about my sort of... Oh, there's no date. They say a lot of these are really old. But these are kind of creepy. I used to always find like puppets creepy when I was younger. I'll tell you one thing guys, it is so hot in here. Country roads, take me home. <laughs> it's like, Marky, where are you? Why are you not exploring with Dave? Because he hasn't got a passport yet. <laughs> what an idiot. Me, idiot. Another box of toys. Makes me sad seeing all these toys. Reminds me a lot of the film Toy Story, all these like forgotten little toys. So we haven't forgotten, I think there's a staircase I originally come up from. Let's go. Davey? I was just lost on the Oh, do you know who I thought that was then? Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> We're in Anthony Hopkins' house. That's cool, isn't it? What a nice portrait. I've done that one. Wow. It just looks like, you know, when someone just looks like they just rushed in a hurry, grab stuff they could and gone. The old Inkwell school desk over there is amazing. I love it. And you kind of see the beauty of this bed. There's just so much stuff on it. The old fashioned light switches. Children grew up here. The old clock, I love the old clock. Date, no. I thought it'd be like a date of like eighties or something. It looks quite old. Care 
how old that Disney picture is. It's about the 70s or 60s. Is that Michael Jackson? Obviously she lost her name, probably better. Some pictures beside the bed there. Maybe her mum and dad's wedding photo. Little girls. Look how things there, that all the box Disney Duck Towers glasses. That's still in there. Never been drunk from. Shame that it's sort of been trashed. Getting loads of kids' books in there. I try and leave things as much as we can. I don't translate anything written there. It's like prices or something. And these doors are completely curved. There's a calendar for 1988. This place is a little bit like a maze, it just keeps puzzling off. Oh, There's a stairway to the attic. I'll tell you one thing, this is absolutely so steep. The old attic door above my head. It's all floored up here. This is when I say to myself, why am I walking off? I feel like I'm going to go through. Yeah, I'm not going to walk anymore. You can see there's like whole bits there and the, and the floor is literally creaking about below me. It's cool though. I love an old attic. Look at how everything's made as well. The old probably reclaimed wood. Big thick dowels going through to hold bits together. So cool. It reminds me of something of um, Sleeping Beauty, like the little spindle. Hello? I don't know why I always hear noises when I'm in attics and basements. the loft, no music book. Can you hear the old village church bell? Oh, you can feel the wind gasping through this loft. What's up explorers? So I do apologize for the sudden ending on that video. Um, we don't know if he's the owner or what, but a guy turned up. He was very, very upset with us, so um, we had to leave straight away, and respectfully, we did. Um, 
He tried explaining to us that it's been abandoned for over 20 years and it was someone they know, but the village apparently are keeping an eye on this place. And um, yeah, some pretty gruesome stuff happened here apparently. So what I might try and do is a revisit to this place and um, find out a lot more history of this guy, what really went on. So yeah, as I said, if you love what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the links are in description or at the beginning of the video. There's also a P.O. box. If you wish to send us anything, please feel free. that all be open on the live chats. There's also a Patreon and also a PayPal link if you wish to help donate anything towards the channel. Help us grow. Also, don't forget, guys and girls, get yourself the Halloween merch. Um, check out the new store. It's all in the description. It's, well, it's www.abandonedworldexplorers.co.uk. Check out the merch. And before I go as well, I forgot to add, if you are new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe. Check out some of the older videos. Um, this film was, this video was filmed in March. Um, just want to add as well, if you are already a subscriber to Abandoned World Explorer, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Also, please check your notification button because apparently a lot of people that are following me message me saying like, why haven't I been notified of your videos? And they've checked their notification. It's been switched off. So I don't know what's going on, but yeah, make sure you check that out. And um, yeah, check out some of the other videos here, 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 somewhere on the screen right now. Anyway, love you all. Stay safe. See you soon.